Hey guys, it's phase one. In this video, we're gonna go over the top five features we can expect from Star Citizen Alpha 3.14. Make sure to watch this video all the way through to the end as the last feature will be what I believe is the best and most exciting feature. If you're new to this channel, we do all kinds of Star Citizen content. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss any new videos. I also stream on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. So if you have any questions or you just like to hang out, make sure to follow me there as well. All my links are down below. And without any further ado, let's get started. Before we get started, I'd like to let you guys know that we're doing a giveaway of the new Tumbro tank when this channel hits 1500 subscribers. If you'd like to be involved, all you need to do is to subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitch, and make sure to leave a comment on this video. All right, let's get started. Number five, Hacking Tech. For 313, CIG is working on all back end tasks related to creating the first pass on hacking features that will be used in future locations and mission updates. When implemented in game, this feature will be used to access systems and areas previously unavailable to players. The hacking process will be represented as a mini game that displays on the player's HUD visor. The moment there's very little information on this topic but make sure to subscribe as i will cover this in a future video as we get more information number four crusader in horizon landing zone in 313 we can expect a new crusader planet with the new gas cloud tech the planet will be populated with points of interest the horizon landing zone will include shipyards abs gardens and a spaceport what makes this landing zone unique is the fact that it is a floating city. This landing zone has residential, commercial, and industrial districts. This location is meant to be beautiful to look at from anywhere you stand. The main hub of Horizon will be Cloudview Center. The entire landing zone will be littered with pretty cherry blossoms, which are meant to provide a calm environment for visitors. One of the main attractions is a sculpture of a space whale. Green Circle will be where players will stay at Horizon. This is where the Habs are located. You can find more organic materials within the Habs themselves. You can find the Voyager Bar at the rooftop of Green Circle, which provides unique views of the landing zone and the atmosphere of Crusader. The 3 is Healing Tier 0 and NPC Healing. To accommodate this gameplay, CIG will introduce the Cure Life Medical Gun. This is a dedicated medical gun. It provides additional functionality like the ability to apply specific drugs which may not be accessible via the multi-tool. This medical gun will provide sliders which will allow players to dictate doses to properly treat injuries. There will also be a multi-tool healing attachment. This tool will not allow you to fully heal players and NPCs but will reveal long-lasting injuries which will require further healing equipment like the Cure Life Medical Gun. This attachment is a modular piece which comprises of a syringe and a canister that contains the healing serum. Number 2 is Personal Inventory. This feature will allow players to physically store weapons, gadgets, consumables, healing items and more on their person and in vehicles via backpacks, pockets and containers. This will utilize the new iCache for persistence wherever players travel. This feature will change the way players play the game. PVPers will have an incentive to engage other players as they can't loot other players' corpses, their ships, and vehicles. Exploration will actually be more exciting as players will now partake on long journeys to find rare and lucrative loot. All players will be affected by this feature as you will need to plan out your trips to ensure you have everything you need. Preservation of the state of your ships and vehicles will become more important. And number one is radar, scanning, and ping. Radar is used to passively locate and track contacts and display their whereabouts to players. If a player is in a high ambient area like a gas cloud, they can be hidden within the gas cloud depending on their signature levels. This opens up opportunities for smaller ships to also hide around larger ships. This new addition will allow new levels of stealth gameplay in the verse. I'm quite excited about this. Scanning involves obtaining information about a specific entity once picked up by the radar. In P14, we're not only getting a new scanning user interface, 
which I think is awesome by the way, but we can expect to see more interesting information. You can find out crime stat information, cargo manifests, components, and more. All of this will be determined by the type of scanner you have equipped. They're building a tech to allow designers to determine which scanner will excel at EM or IR for example. This allows for greater customization and specialization of our ships. In future patches, players will be able to transfer scan data from ships to their person or to other players. Ping actively finds additional contacts or highlights volumes of space to investigate weaker signatures, both of which are displayed via the radar and its AR HUD elements. We will no longer see an artificial reality cube but a blob. If the detective signal is high enough, you will then have the opportunity to scan for more details. Once you ping, you of course reveal your location. Which feature do you look forward to the most in Star Citizen Alpha 3.14? Let me know in the comments below. If there is anything in this video that you like, leave a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more. I will see you on the next one.